Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's create a toggle button for new customers and repeat customers, which is very useful to take data-driven decisions and sales reports. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. In this report, I have created a functionality to view total customers, new customers, and repeat customers. My toggle button will filter below matrix visual only for new customers or repeat customers. So how to create such toggle buttons, which will provide such a flexibility in your Power BI reports. Here I have the same report with basic measures, like total sales, total cost, and margin percentage. First of all, I will create a small custom table. So I will click on this enter data option. Call a name I can mention as new or repeat customers. In that I will have just two items, which are new customers and repeat customers. I will also add an ordinal column to apply a sort order. Rename the table name as new or repeat customers. Then click on OK to create this table. Before creating my important measures, let me create this slicer which will use column from my newly created table. If required, I can change the style of this slicer from vertical to tile so that it will look like a toggle button. But at present, this toggle button is useless to make it active. First of all, I need to create a measure to calculate total new customers on a given date or month. First section of this measure will calculate total number of distinct customers till max available date in the context. All function will ignore the existing filter on date table so that our measure will calculate total distinct customers till max date. From this total number, I need to remove the total number of customers, which is sales orders before minimum date available in the current context. So I can just copy the same expression and change this to less than minimum date. So my measure to calculate new customers is created. Now I will create a master filter measure, which is a little tricky. Let's do that. In this measure, I will start with a switch function. And then first of all, I need to validate what is selected in my toggle button. I can use sort order column. And if it is one, which is for new customer, my new customer measure should not result to a zero value. Int function will convert the Boolean results to an equivalent integer values, which is one for true and zero for false. Same way, if selected value is repeat customers or order two, the same measure should give true result for new customer measure value as zero. If nothing is selected, then total sales for the customer should be greater than zero. Now from visual level filter of my table visual, I will use this measure and apply a condition to show line items only if this measure result is one. With that, my below table will only show either new customers or repeat customers based on the applied filters and the toggle selection. Now I will create a multi-row card visual, which will show new customers and total customers for the selected months. For total customers, I can use distinct customers from customer key column. If required, you can change the name from count of customers to total number of customers. Now I will create a repeat customers measure, which we can easily calculate by subtracting the new customers from total distinct customers. So I am using this distinct count function over my customer key column and then subtracting my existing new customers measure from this. I will add this measure to my multi-row card visual and my solution is ready for testing. Now if I will click on new customers, my table visual will only show these 10 customers, which are new customers for selected filters. Let's verify that. Customer key 656608 was showing as new customer. And you can see, it does not has any sales before April 2022. So in April 2022, it was a new customer, which we have used in our month year filter. Let's also verify one of the repeat users. So I will click on repeat customers toggle button. And let's verify for this customer key 612175, which was in the visual for this selection. This customer has sales order in April 2022, but it also has transactions in year 2018. So this is a repeat customer for April 2022. Such solutions are very useful and can be extended to get active or inactive customers, potential inactive customers, frequent customers, and much more. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos in Power BI. Post your feedback and suggestions in comment box.